Hi, welcome to this brand new SSD machine here. This is Arch Linux B Mate, the minimal version of it. So a quick look and then we go to the real topic. And the real topic of this video is I have installed a new Linux kernel, the latest Linux kernel, or we call it the Linux mainline from AOR. It's also explained in a tutorial on articlinux.com. And we want to have VirtualBox. So that's a complex thing. That's, that's something we need to, to figure out. So the topic is how to get VirtualBox running on a machine with a different kernel. This is definitely a different kernel. It's the kernel, I don't know, released four or five days ago. The thing is, I have already lots of scripts. So you go check out the Arch Linux D GitHub. And there are, for instance, the Arch Mate um, GitHub. And you'll see that there are scripts in here. Scripts to install VirtualBox on a Linux LTS and script, scripts to install VirtualBox for Linux. So the general Linux kernel. If you don't do anything, that's this one you need to run. Some of us do need to, well, power down or anything, and downgrade the Linux to the long-term support LTS uh, kernel for some hardware reason, okay? So these two things are here. Let's open them. And let's make it big so you can see. So this one that's open now, install VirtualBox for Linux. So the general one. If it's a general kernel, never done, never changed the kernel, but just update it always, that's going to be this script if you want to have VirtualBox. Now, do check out the differences. So VirtualBox is one thing, and host modules arch is another thing. And always use our alias. I don't, don't use that one. I use an alias, and that's called update grub. So just need to remember if I install a kernel to update the grub. And that's this long line that I keep forgetting. So it's an alias. So we have two lines to install. But when you have a different kind of um, a different kind of um, kernel, so in this case it's called Linux LTS, but you know I don't have the LTS version, I have the mainline version, which is the same thinking, same approach. If you have a different kernel, you need to install VirtualBox, nothing changes, but here you have to change uh, to VirtualBox host DKMS. All right? So that's a new package, another package you have to install, and you have to install, install as well the headers. In this case, it's the LTS headers. But of course, I don't have the LTS headers. What do I have? It's all functional already, so you can see what I've installed. So VirtualBox is installed and host DKMS, check, right? And of course, the headers, so Linux. And let's see what's installed here. So Linux is installed, Linux mainline and mainline headers. So these two guys need to be here, there. So point 0.19 RC8-1. You can see at kernel.org how, how recent that is. We can actually see it. Wow, it doesn't matter. So three, four, five, maybe six days ago. I don't know, doesn't care, doesn't matter. It's straight from AOR. So the same approach, only it's called mainline headers. And then reboot, you have to update, of course, update the grub, fine, but remember, to reboot. It's a stupid thing, but if you don't remember to reboot, it won't launch, you get an error and all that. So then if you reboot it, I've downloaded Arch Linux, I've put it in here. It's the one from October and all you have to do is just double click here and off we go and we're going to install Arch Linux on a virtual box. So everything as you can see just works, no errors anywhere. So the approach does work and that was the tutorial or the topic of this tutorial. So enjoy the new knowledge. Cheers.